with Billy and Bonnie. And, and, oh, um, oh, what's wrong, Billy? Well, I thought it was story time with Billy, Bonnie and, and, Bonnie, where's one of our red kind of friends? Do, do they usually help? Not this time, Billy. It's just you and me. <laughs> oh, 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 so no red coats keep an eye on me then. Oh, does that mean we can have snacks with our story? <gasps> I mean, I know we're not allowed to eat on the stage, but, but I love a story with snacks. And seeing as we're here alone, no red coat to tell me, uh, Bonnie, why are you looking at me like that? Billy, be just because we don't have a red coat helping with the story, it does not give you the right to be cheeky and try and get away with things you're not allowed to do. And you know full well you're not allowed, don't you? Wow! All right, Bonnie, so... I was only joking anyway. I, I, I wasn't really going to go and get some snacks. Hmm. Honestly? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry, Bonnie. I was being cheeky. I'm... Okay, Billy. No more cheekiness from you. Though you can be cute when you are being silly. <laughs> oh, well, Bonnie, don't say that in front of all the boys and girls. Oh, it gets embarrassed to you. <laughs> boys and girls, are you all ready to hear our story? That's good. Billy, are you ready? So, but, but I don't have the storybook. How, how am I going to read a story without the Billy? Open your eyes. Uh, Bonnie, they are open, otherwise I'd fall over. Well, well, they are not open enough. Well, that's impossible. How am I meant to open them more? Honestly, Bonnie, sometimes I worry about you. I can't exactly... Oh, <laughs> Are you ready now? Yep, I'm ready. Boys and girls, are you ready? Oh, come on. I said, are you ready? Oh, yay. Then I think we're ready to start. Oh, let's take a seat. After you, Bonnie. Thank you, Billy. And I'll just sit down here too. One of our favourite stories, so we hope you enjoy it too. Which one is it again? This one, Billy. Oh yeah! I love it when they use the... Yes. And then the house that you can... Uh-huh. Oh, and the wicked... Yes, Billy. So shall we tell the boys and girls too? Let's do it! Okay, here goes. Once upon a time, there were two children called Hansel and Gretel. Their mother had died when they were very young, so they lived with their father, who was a woodcutter. He soon married again, but his new wife came from a richer family, and she hated living in a poor cottage on the edge of the wood. But most of all, she hated Hansel and Gretel. One night, when they were in bed, Hansel and Gretel overheard their stepmother say, We've hardly any food left. If we don't get rid of the children, we'll all starve. Well, she's not very nice, is she? The father let out a cry. It's no use arguing, his wife said. My mind is made up. Tomorrow we'll lose them in the forest. Don't worry, Hansel comforted his sister. If they do leave us in the forest, we'll find our way home. And slipping out of the house, he filled his pockets with little white pebbles, <coughs> then went back to bed. So, in the morning, the family set off, and as they walked, Hansel secretly dropped the little white pebbles, one by one, making a trail. When they'd walked for a long time, their father stopped and lit a fire in the forest. He told Hansel and Gretel, 
thought they would be back soon, but never returned. Oh, that must have been very scary for poor Gansel and Hector, Hansel and Gretel. Well, that's what I said! Okay, Billy. But when it got darker, Hansel took Gretel's hand and found the white pebble shining in the moonlight. They quickly followed the trail home, where their father was overjoyed to see them. The horrible stepmother was not happy, and a few days later, she decided it to try again. That night, she locked the door. She was not having Hansel collect pebbles again, but Hansel was clever, like me. Of course, Billy. <laughs> and he saved the crumbs from his bread crust. So the next day, when Hansel and Gretel were taken deep into the woods, Hansel dropped the crumbs. The stepmother lit a fire and said she would be back soon, but as before she did not return. Hansel and Gretel waited patiently for the moon to light their way home, but this time the trail had gone. Oh no, boys and girls, do you know what happened to the crumbs? Let's see, shall we? The birds had eaten the crumbs. Oh no! But birds do love breadcrumbs, don't they? But now the children were really lost. They fell asleep under a tree, cold and hungry. When dawn broke, they started to wander around the forest. On they walked and walked, till suddenly they came upon a strange cottage in the middle of the clearing. This is chocolate, gasped Hansel as he broke a lump of plaster from the wall. Oh, I love chocolate! Yummy in my tummy! And this is icing, exclaimed Gretel, putting another piece of the wall in her mouth. You see? Isn't this delicious, said Gretel with her mouth full. She had never tasted anything so nice. We'll stay here, Hansel declared, munching a bit of honeycomb. Oh, this sounds like my kind of house. Yummy, yummy. House made of sweets. Boys and girls, would you like to find a house made of sweets? <laughs> what happened next, Bunny? They were just about to try a piece of the biscuit door when it quietly swung open. Well, well, said an old woman, peering out with a crafty look. And haven't you children a sweet tooth? Come in, come in, you've nothing to fear, went on the old woman. Oh, yeah. You see, unluckily for Hansel and Gretel, the sugar candy cottage belonged to an old witch. You're nothing but skin and bones, said the witch, locking Hansel into a cage. I shall fatten you up and eat you. Oh, how scary for poor Hansel. It's scary? Listen to what Gretel had to do. You can do the housework, she told Gretel grimly. Then I'll make a meal of you too. See, I'd rather be handsome than Gretel. I don't like housework. <laughs> oh, Billy. Anyway, on with the story. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. As luck would have it, the witch had a very bad eyesight. Yeah. Let me feel your finger, said the witch to Hansel every day to check if he was getting fatter. Now Gretel had brought her brother a chicken bone. And when the witch went to touch his finger, Hansel held out the bone. You're still much too thin, she complained. When will you become plump? See, Bonnie, the witch thought that the chicken bone was Hansel's finger. <laughs> but one day the witch grew tired of waiting. Light the oven, she told Gretel. We are going to have a tasty roasted boy today. A little later, hungry and impatient, she went to check the oven was hot. But when the witch bent down to peer inside the oven and check the heat, 
Gretel gave her a tremendous push and slammed the oven door shut. Oh, oh, go, Gretel! Gretel ran to set her brother free and they made quite sure that the oven door was tightly shut behind the witch. They stayed a little longer to eat some more of the house till they discovered amongst the witch's belongings a huge chocolate egg. Inside lay lots of gold coins. They filled a large basket with food and set up into the forest to search for the way home. This time, luck was with them. And they found their way home where their father was outside chopping wood. Your stepmother has left. Come home with me now, my dear children. Oh, the two children hugged the woodcutter. Promise you'll never ever desert us again, said Gretel, throwing her arms around her father's neck. Hansel opened the casket. Look, father, we're rich now. You'll never have to chop wood again. And they all lived happily together ever after. Me too. And poor little Hansel and Gretel. It must have been very scary in that house with the witch. Oh, I know. Yeah, very scary. Hey, did you all enjoy the story of Hansel and Gretel too? But after all that talk of a house made of sweets and treats, it's made me think of food. Well, it's nearly dinner time, Billy. Oh, yeah. Yum. I wonder what we're having tonight. Do you, do you think we'll have sweets? Sweets? For dinner? You know that we only have them as a special treat, Billy, as too many are bad for your teeth. Oh, yeah. I know. We'll find out what's for dinner soon. First, we need to say goodbye to our friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, everyone. And thanks for coming to hear our story. We hope you enjoyed it, but now it's time for us to go and get some dinner. Yes, it is, and it's time for you all to have your dinner too. We hope you enjoyed the story of Hansel and Gretel, everyone. Thanks for coming to listen to us. <laughs> yeah, thanks everyone. Bye bye. 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 Bye bye.